Here at PAMS Penn State Branch Campus, it is our mission to ensure that all students get an exemplary education in a range of fields. Our instruction is simply unparalleled with an award-winning dean. She might be the only staff member, but she's like, kind of good. Our dorms are so luxurious that you'll feel right at home, especially with our free laundry and annoying younger siblings. With numerous Division I sports, world-class dining options, and six feet apart student activities to participate in, campus life at Penn State has never been better. We invite you to apply today at psu.edu slash Pam's Branchy Ranch. We are taking class online. Ugh. This sucks. This video has been sponsored and approved by Bartleby. Hi all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol from Big Cat Rescue. <coughs> Just kidding. What's up, it's Sydney. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband? Comment below. It is currently 9-11 a.m. <laughs> We gotta get ready for the day. This will be my fit of choice. I did sleep in it. I've put on mascara for like two out of the past 20 days, so y'all should be feeling pretty special right now. It's like we're on our first date. I've been inside too long, help. Also, I do want to clarify something. You're gonna see people who aren't my family members, aka my boyfriend. Well, maybe you'll see him, maybe he'll be censored out. We can never be sure. And also my roommate. And I just want to clarify that I have been quarantined slash self-isolating with these people in my house for like almost a month now. So it's not like I'm just hanging out with my friends because that's very irresponsible. Sam's in school right now. She's having a great time, as you can tell. First order of business, I need to reformat my supply chain homework, which is due at 3.05 p.m. today, because that's when we would normally have class, but we don't have that anymore, so. Basically for our homework, we're supposed to be forecasting demand for a certain year using previous demand, and you just do all these weird math things and whatever. As an example, one of the homework problems is using a simple three period moving average, generate a monthly forecast for 2018. So obviously, I generated a monthly forecast for 2018. Well, I emailed the TA with some questions and was just like, hey, just making sure I'm doing this math right, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh yeah, you're doing all the math right, but you're using the wrong year. And I was like, she emails me back and she says, disregard the years, they are messed up. So now I just have to take the new answers that I found and put them into the sheet and show my work and blah, 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 turn it in. I love redoing homework that I did right in the first place. Ooh. Why wouldn't you look at the actual demand? They said, find it for these dates, and then they were like, mm, JK, we actually want it for these dates, but we didn't say that. So I think everything's just messed up, so I'm just honestly going with it. Oh my god. I know. I feel that. <laughs> See what I mean? This sh don't make no sense. I just finished supply chain, and now we're gonna check in with everyone's favorite resident of my household. Hi. So in science, it's science, so much fun. I had to watch these two videos and then answer about the three parts of modern cell theory. And I had to do some IXL, which is really boring, but it's fine, whatever. And here's the four phases of mitosis, if you didn't know what they are. That's a beautiful representation of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, PMAT. Let's go check on that peanut butter and jelly action. What's poppin', Papa John? Excuse me. Let's see her put the peanut butter on that bread. <laughs> What's Emily up to? I'm making a PowerPoint for a presentation on Friday. Oh, look at that. Looks so much fun. What are you up to? Um, currently doing actuarial science and I am hurting. Wave to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin', Matthew? Mm -hmm. Papa John's. Oh, yay! Just so you know, we're having ZD for dinner and I'm really excited. Well, I'm gonna go decide what I'm gonna do now. I'm about to do some stupid freaking book work for my favorite class, Excel. But before I do that, Sydney's tips for staying on top of your work and still getting good grades despite the fact that your college experience was ripped from you and you're still paying the same amount of tuition for pretty much half of the benefits. 
My first piece of advice is to stick to your class time schedule. For some classes that I'm taking at Penn State, that is a requirement. So like for my geography class, it's 10.35 a.m. on Thursday and I have to log on to get attendance points and to watch the lecture and learn the material. But for a lot of my other classes, professors have just been posting videos at random times and that gives me no structure, which makes me unhappy. Use Bartleby, baby. With classes being online, I don't know about your school, but I'm just gonna say it. Sorry, Penn State, but you are not providing me with the same amount of resources that you were when I still had in-person classes, so I've been mm, struggling. Bartleby is a resource that provides unlimited access to step-by-step -step textbook solutions, which is great if your professors just don't teach you how to do stuff anymore and you have to figure it all out on your own. The reason why I recommend Bartleby as opposed to some of its other competitors is for a few reasons. For one, it's about five dollars cheaper per month and you get more solutions per month provided with your access. You get 30 questions per month for only $9.99, which I think is a really good price, and they're expert answers. I feel like you're actually getting a learning experience with the step-by-step -step answers instead of just someone handing it to you on a silver platter, because guess what? College ain't like that, sweetie. If y'all need homework help, you can do one of two things. Comment your question down below and pray that my four brain cells can solve whatever impossible calculus question you have, or try Bartleby for free today and get 30 free questions. The choice is yours. Another piece of advice I have is to not just stay connected with your friends socially, but also from an academic perspective as well. I normally do my homework in study groups or with my friends at the library and that sort of thing, so I found it very beneficial to have FaceTime and Zoom calls with my friends so that we can still pretend that we're together. Plus this way I think you'll be more motivated when other people are working and you can ask each other questions on homework and also complain about your professors. <clears throat> my final piece of advice is to just cry occasionally. Just let out a good cry. Everything will be fine. Excel time! <laughs> Chapter 8 baby, data lookup and retrieval. Riveting stuff. The VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions require you to select a table array, a grid of cells, that has the values to be used in the search as the first column and contains everything up to and including the data you wish to have retrieved. Literally the only thing worse than doing Excel is reading about how to do Excel. I have a secret for you guys, okay, shh. I'm not gonna read it. Thought we would check in on our star student. Hello MTV, welcome to my crib. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of freaking bored right now because my professors are like, oh, you need to do XYZ, but then they haven't posted the videos for XYZ, so... Solve that math equation for me. I'm supposed to have a Zoom call right now with my math teacher, and it's more just like for questions and stuff. I don't like my math teacher at all. So, I'm not gonna show up to that, probably ever. But that's fine, I'm skipping math, which is basically what I do in class anyways. I mean, I show up, but then I just don't listen to her and I do everything myself. She treats us like we're five. Like, she has like one of those like noise things where she's like, well, currently I'm like a level four volume. We need to be at a level three or maybe even a two. If she like gets a text message in class, she'll always like put herself in phone jail. There's like these little pocket things that some teachers have in their rooms where like students will put their phones in the pockets during class so they don't go on them. And we don't even use it, but she just uses it for her own phone. Anyways, I'm gonna do some work now. Yeah. Sam has French in like 30 minutes, but right now it's time for physical education. That's me. Yeet. Oh. oh. Let's go see if we can recruit Matthew. <laughs> Come play volleyball. I don't know. She went for that. <laughs> French. Oh, okay, so I'm taking French because in sixth grade, you in each trimester, you try a different language. So you try German, Spanish, and French. And so the next year, you choose which language you want to take. And I already know what language I'm taking, so I'm just trying to get a good grade and then move on. Okay, so she makes us, like, bring stuff so we, like, hold it up and she sees it. Why do you need a box, though? I don't understand. I don't know, because we're learning about boxes. 
We're learning about it. I mean, I know who your French teacher is, and I swear they're on crack. <laughs> <laughs> the American education system has failed us again. <laughs> Pulling out the coop, but the lot. Don't. But. Bruh. I'm a 2020 person in Canada. I just put a notebook in the box. I just I put a sticky note in the box. box. I just I put, put a pencil in the box. I just put this in the box. I just learned French. We do this really funny thing now because Sam's obsessed with the TikTok dances where, one, we make her run five laps around the house if she gets too hyper and starts TikTok dancing everywhere. And two, whenever she's sad and has a mental breakdown because, you know, school is online and Sam is very much so extroverted and she hates it, we do this thing where when she's crying, we just go, classy, bougie, ratchet, and then sassy, moody, Nancy. Okay, wait, it's actually two. You should log on. Okay, I'm gonna get on now. I like French is one. I don't like French is ten. I uh, put out a 27. Je m'appelle Joe. Je m'appelle Michael. Ça va? Bien. Ça va? Terrifiant. A vous revoir. I never went to Ovo Jabber. It's okay, Sam. Don't worry. We know French is the dumbest language. We all agree. It's the dumbest language. Classy. Sorry to the people who actually write French. Your language is dumb. Like, when are you gonna use French in your life? Like, there's more places that speak Spanish than like English. I'm pretty sure. What are you doing, Emily? Preparing for a workout. Bye. <laughs> Eating like half the calories we're gonna burn. We decided it would be fun to try the burning 600 calories in 60 minutes workout with Jeanette Jenkins, the one that is like on TikTok or whatever. We will be using Emily's Apple Watch to find out if it actually burns 600 calories. Yep. And if it burns 599, I'm going to be freaking pissed. <laughs> you just wanna get your body warm and ready for a great workout. Sydney's getting her workout over here. Like I got some booty cheeks. We do a lot of punching in the air. Yeah. I've noticed that we do a lot of punching in the air, a lot of kicking into the air. Yo, she's like move on. Yeah, seriously. Sweetie, couldn't be me. You know, in case I'm being attacked from both sides of my body. <laughs> yeah, we're preparing for the purge to happen. Punch is such a roll. Gotta keep your focus. What would you rate this out of 10? Maybe a seven. Yeah, it was a good workout, but a lot of the moves weren't my favorite. Mm -mm. That could be a personal problem. Yeah. Also, there was not enough abs. No, and they didn't do good abs either. Overall though, I would say it was good. How many calories did we burn, Emily? Let's see. <laughs> 599. Do you see that? 599. <laughs> After our lovely workout, I took a shower and now I'm gonna watch my supply chain video because my professor just uploaded it, so. <sighs> I feel like this vlog has been like no schoolwork, but that just be the vibe. I just run on the professor's schedule now because they say they're gonna post something and then they don't until like 20 hours later, so. This video is 46 minutes long, but you already know I'm gonna watch it on two times speed, so I will see you in roughly 23 minutes. <laughs> Completed. Time to eat baked CD. Oh, daddy. How do you feel about this meal, Sam? Great. I love this. You already know what is about to go down. Carol Basket. Mom, what are your thoughts on this show? I have no words. All right, my homies, that is going to do it for this vlog. We finished the show, and I just have to say, what the fuck? We played a little bit of Wii, but I actually have an exam tomorrow morning. You wouldn't know because I didn't study, but... <clears throat> Remember to try Bartleby for free today and get 30 free questions when you use the code ETKO7D. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. If you want to follow me on social media, hit me up. Bye. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, back. No. No, oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>